Hello, and welcome to round five of the America's Racing Club series, brought to you by Zeus Gaming. Today, we're at a tricky one at Laguna Seca, where we have Soldier Y on pole, Dummy 23 in second, and Uncle Pants rounds out your front runners. Your projected race strategies have the mediums going 10 laps, onto the mediums again on lap 20 to lap 31, or you can start on the hards, lap 13, change onto the mediums on lap 23, takes you all the way to lap 31 for this great race that we have for us today as you can see the rest of the field all taken here coming out of turn 11 as we take the checkered flag for this 31 lap shootout as you can see here larry j sierra mogollon co2 s alvarez aaron greer out the field as instantly we have Larry shooter up the inside here making the position stick as Uncle Pants drops back a couple spots there we have a couple of shuffling of positions there just on the first few corners sweet sugar balls coming around here turn two up the inside of a lucid wolf in the Renault is able to almost make the pass take. There's a bit of contact that sends a Coelho wide into the dirt, almost connects with the wall, but is able to gain, regain control of his car. We're still here on lap one. J Sierra being chased down by the fuel can shop Mercedes. Tucking up the inside. Both drivers here are not making contact as we have somebody go wide there. CO2 does well to not collect the driver that was in the middle of the track, but in doing so, loses some positions. Everybody's hungry for, for positions here, as you can see. One mistake can lead you to lose two to three to four positions instantly. A great onboard shot here, looking back at Uncle Pants. S. Alvarez, as there's almost contact from the Aston Martin. I don't believe he touched him. They come around turn 11 to complete lap one. Can't believe that it's just lap one. So much action, so much change of positions. That will only tell you what is in store for the next 30 laps. CO2 here, tucking in to the pack sets behind S. Alvarez. They're all looking to see who makes a mistake. Some wheels in the dirt by S. Alvarez in the Corvette. Another car in the dirt comes across the track. Oh my goodness. I believe the Honda is able to get out of the way and not collect one of the cars there that dropped off into the pack see the yellow car there I believe that was the Aston Martin that lost control almost slammed into the wall on board here with the Lexus comes up really close on CO2 almost runs into the back of him as I say that he gets run into the back gets spun J Sierra here backs up does well to not dangerously come back onto the track well done by him in a moment where I know he was not happy there with what happened some contact here we have a replay of co2 coming across the start finish line using that side draft on larry trying to create that air bubble that we usually see in nascar co2 able to come around the inside here stays in third does well to basically look at what larry what larry's line is try to mimic it or use another one we're on board here with s alvarez making the charge around turn six some wheels in the dirt from larry coming out of that turn they send it into the corkscrew here it's a very tricky corner as elevation change is drastic as i say that larry goes john deere mode is able to rejoin re the track, excuse me. So much action going on, just trying to keep up. 
as the drivers all tuck in here to try and make it into turn 10. Heavy braking zone here at turn 11, but it seems as though everyone stays on track. A little bit of a slip up there. Nothing crazy though as dummy 23 tucks out of the draft. They come down here past turn one into Andretti hairpin. Dummy 23 makes the pass stick. Comes around as there's some yellow flags here. It doesn't seem to affect these two drivers. Lap four here. Onto the beginning of lap five, S. Alvarez into, again, Andretti hairpin here. Completely sends it. There is some contact, sends CO2 into the marbles. CO2 is able to come back, but S. Alvarez is the unlucky one here. Gets turned around, gets a little bit of help from Aaron Greer. I don't think that was intentional. These are some, some very clean racers. I do not think that was intentional, but unfortunate there for S. Alvarez comes across the track and that's going to be heavy damage um, that's going to drop him all the way back very very unfortunate as you would have thought that CO2 maybe was the one that would have been hung out to dry there being in the marbles but that aggressive driving from S. Alvarez at the end does not prove successful as Aaron Greer here going into the core crew coming across here rainy corner pass on Sassafras and holding on to third place. Beginning of lap six here, turn one. Larry looking to hit his braking zone as Sassafras sends it a bit wide. Dummy 23 tries to capitalize. Beautiful on board. We're able to see Dummy 23's line is of a different one than Sassafras. We'll see who benefits from this. Larry's able to make the position change on dummy 23. Trying to use some of that drive from Sassafras. Great on board here. Looking back at the Michelin McLaren. A little bit of a touch. Sends Sassafras a bit wide. Larry will look to capitalize. Dummy 23 also looks around up the inside this is a tough corner to make a pass stick but both cars are able to do that larry into fourth dummy 23 into fifth sassafras sassafras excuse me the unlucky one there to drop back as we say that unlucky is aaron greer with a half second penalty we did not catch it we were not on board or catch that on camera and getting that penalty but it will prove costly as that penalty zone is in a high speed area. I believe coming at the end of the, of the lap. So we'll see how that affects him as he fights here for this second place. We're on board here with CO2. There is sort of a touch, some rubbing that is racing, but no harm, no foul. Lap seven here with JC Sierra, Mongolian. Chasing Gene JRR, making that pass for 11. On board here with Odie, who will also make the pass, excuse me, with Uncle Pants there. Makes the pass into Aston Martin. Those towards the back there, making some position changes. Larry here will be settling into the fourth position. And we're on board, he sends it wide wheels in the dirt he tries to catch it he does that but definitely affects his pace here sassafras will try to take advantage dummy 23 as well trying to use that draft they come here into a heavy braking zone you don't want to send it wide and that's exactly what larry does you have to feel for him as he spins out there we are on board here looking at a lucid wolf making that pass on larry unfortunately spins loses out on a couple positions great camera shot here this if i'm not mistaken should be the corvette as we will get
get a outside view here of the Corvette, the Aston Martin. Just a great shot here by the production crew. Scratch that. Neither of those cars. It is the Porsche. Sweet sugar balls on board there. Chasing down the Lucid Wolf. See which car has the better downforce here. Proves to be the Porsche as he takes the sixth position. The Renault is not able to follow suit and just tucks into into the line there. We have a fight here for ninth. J. Sierra and the Lexus against Odie and the Corvette. Makes the pass stick around turn five. Coming here to six. Odie looks quickly but chooses wisely to not fight for that position in that corner could have been very dangerous. Just as dangerous as fighting for positions in this corner. Everybody tucks in nicely. They come around the rainy corner, turn nine. Uncle Pants putting the pressure on Odie and the Corvette. I think Odie might have might have moved over there given the faster driver as you can see Odie is coming into the pits there so there was smart by him there was no fighting there uh, for position as he did move over and came into the pits there J. Sierra in eighth fighting here chasing down in the Lexus we have an onboard here of the McLaren looking back great shot here looking up the inside will will he make the pass he will definitely send it that is a great move clean move keeps all wheels in the track co2 here being chased down hounded by aaron greer in the honda dummy 23 this has been a great battle by all these manufacturers basically all race all 10 laps so far as we have sweet sugar balls going into the pits here he was on those mediums we'll look to um, i will i will say that i believe he will be changing tires and also adding a fuel full tank of fuel but while i do all that talking about pit strategies co2 is absolutely being hounded by dummy 23 on board here looking back at those three manufacturers chasing down you have the aston martin the honda and the renault three different uh, specialties from each car all chasing down the mercedes this will be very interesting folks looks around the outside w23 going into the course crew Ooh, this could be dangerous there's a little bit of touch but cleanly makes the pass wonderful wonderful move all tuck in here looking to complete lap 10 a couple more corners Let's say two more corners before they complete lap 10 start with lap 11 as co2 comes across some pitch strategies taken into account soldier y who we have not talked much about since the start of the race comes into the pits that is your leader w23 now assumes the lead sassafras in second as we will go on board here with the leader doing exactly that coming into the pit stops an exceptional race by him so far deserves his props just you don't hear much of him because he is well and far ahead up front you gotta say how it is exceptional racing by the leader comes out i believe in fourth or might be fifth as jc era comes around here um sojo is still on pit lane speed Let's see where the blend in will happen here. The Lexus comes out ahead, but he is on older tires. So Joai will warm up the tires in about a lap and start to attack. Another one of the drivers up front comes into the pits, Aaron Greer in the Honda. Looking for a quick stop, does exactly that. There is no damage on that car, so it's in and out. We'll see, we'll see how he blends in here with Sweet Sugar Balls. This blend in might be a little bit tougher than the one we just saw with Soldier Y. As we see here, Aaron Greer come out onto the track. We'll see where he stacks up with the Porsche. 
the Porsche is right there makes the pass for seven on older tires yes but position is key in a race and the more positions you gain the better of course sweet sugar balls here trying not to send it wide keeps all wheels in the track coming into turn six before they turn in to the corkscrew we'll see if Aaron Greer tries to send it here I don't believe he will nice and smart we'll fight for another day Odie in the Corvette chasing right behind as we also have the McLaren back there I believe on board here with the Honda looking up the inside will he send it he will great move no contact made and the position gained because there was somebody in the pits there I saw some position changes as they passed the, the pit lane Larry here coming around S. Alvarez I believe S. Alvarez was letting him through as S. Alvarez might have damage there smart by him to not obstruct the other drivers race knowing that his car is not at 100% as he passes one Corvette chasing down the next one have a Corvette sandwich here with the McLaren in the middle great fight as there is some contact with Larry tries to send it around the outside of Odie I don't believe he had all the room that he thought he had there. Makes a bit of contact, but Rubin is racing. Everything is good there. The race continues. No one was off the track, so that is what matters. Sassafras here in second. Comes to the pits. As you can see, his pit crews coming out to service him. Tires, fuel, no repairs, and out goes the Renault. This will be a very interesting blend. I don't believe it will affect Larry and Odie as they're well past Sassafras who is just coming around the pits. Let's see where this blend happens. Yes, like I said, they do get past the Renault. Odie dips some wheels in the dirt. The two teammates here in the Corvette are fighting, basically slowing each other down as Sassafras is saying, thank you very much. I will catch right up in my fresh tires. More wheels in the dirt. Oh boy, these Corvettes. Oh, battling each other. Oh boy, as Sassafras will use that fight, like I said, makes the pass on one of the Corvettes. It won't be too long before he makes the pass on the next one. He's on fresher tires. I don't know which tires the Corvettes are on, but they're definitely not giving in though. Odie makes the pass back on Sassafras as S. Alvarez makes the pass on Sassafras as well. They send it here into turn 10 and there's contact between Sassafras and S. Alvarez. Odie dips into the pits there. That's exactly what I was saying. Sassafras on new tires as Odie dips into the pits. He's on old lap 12 here with Sassafras going into the pits. A. Coelho fending off Uncle Pants. The Mustang fighting against the Aston Martin. This is a great fight here. Coming around into the marble area. Gotta watch out, Uncle Pants there. That could affect the tires, but basically tells me to shut up as he makes the pass stick cleanly going through the marbles. No issues there. Aaron Greer here being chased by sweet sugar balls dummy 23 blends in from the pits i have to tell you this pit lane where the drivers come out definitely adds to the action um, where the drivers are coming around turn one and turn two the the blend in is definitely makes the racing exciting we have talking about racing exciting larry out here chasing Chasing for fifth, I believe will make the pass stick. Passes sweet sugar balls. He will drop to six. W23 makes a little bit of contact. Will 
will send it into the course through. Ooh, this could be a little bit dangerous. Let's see where that leads to. He makes the pass stick before the turn. That's smart. We have Larry in fifth, dummy 23 in sixth. A Coelho here receiving a half second penalty. We'll have to slow down. I don't know if that penalty was assessed there as the game sometimes makes you assess it on the next lap, depending on how close you were to the penalty area. I believe he did assess it there on the start finish, but didn't seem to affect his positioning as it might soon. J. Sierra looking to make a move. Coming around A. Coelho. A. Coelho not giving in. Fighting, fighting for this eighth spot. A great battle we have here on board. We are in the passenger cam here of the of the Lexus. J. Sierra Mogollon makes the pass on Ecuelo. We are here with Aaron Greer in third, making the chase down. With Dummy 23 right behind as they chase down the Mercedes. This was definitely a battle we saw earlier in the race. Glad to see it again here for the sake of the viewers and the sake of the commentator too. I'm having a great time. Aaron Greer chasing down, being a complete menace, coming around the outside. They make a bit of contact. Oh, he loses out, folks. Wheels in the dirt, all four wheels that definitely killed all his momentum. I believe here we're now on board with Dummy 23. Yes, yes we are. Aaron Greer fell off of this battle. CO2 now fending off the Aston Martin. This is just great racing, folks. The battle for a second position continues. Who will get that second spot on the podium? The 2-3-3 fighting against the 45. Just a great racing here in the ARC series. Dummy 23 is able to make the pass. Uh, we wonder if he's maybe on better tires. Lap 21 here. We have some more pitch strategies taken into account with the mediums. Soldier Y, your leader, comes into the pits. Dummy 23 assumes the lead. Assassin Crass in third. We have a battle here between Gene Gerard and Uncle Pants. 10th and 9th. The pants looks around the outside. They're heading into the course group here. Decides to not send it there. It's not the best spot, like I said many times before. Not the best spot to, to look for a move. You'd rather wait here, come around, start a new lap, and, and maybe make the pass down the straight before Andretti corner, which I believe is what Uncle Pants will be trying to do here. Gets a better, gets a better drive out of that corner, coming down the start finish, past the pit lanes, and exactly what I, what I had said before is exactly what happens. Uncle Pence makes the pass stick, basically before Andretti corner, coming around turn three here, and has nothing to worry about as he now makes the position stick. We are here on lap 22. This blend in the pits, Aaron Greer coming out, us completing his pit strategy. That will um, see him to the end of the race. This is essentially a, a, a clear fight for a position of how this race will end. This could be um, one of the fights up there in the podiums, fourth, fifth, definitely out. One of the front runners. Pit stops are completed. Let's see how this fight finishes. Aaron Greer chasing down CO2. Just a great battle um, all day. Mercedes and, and a bunch of other cars, Honda and a bunch of other cars have all gone at it. As I say that, Aaron Greer is definitely going at it. Seeing up the inside, I don't think that's the way to do it. He gets a little rough with the Mercedes. No love lost there. I, I don't know what the stores will have to say about that one, but. That, that looked a little mean. <laughs> we have the Lexus coming into the pits here. Completing his pit strategies. Trying to see it out with seven laps to the end. As I say that, he is coming out of the pits. You have Larry in the McLaren. 
you have the Porsche right behind, J Sierra blends in in the Lexus. This is just great stuff, folks. I'm telling you, this is one of my favorite <laughs> pit lanes. I don't know how many commentators say that, having a favorite pit lane, but this one definitely blends in perfectly to the action. And as you can see, Larry fending off the Lexus. One is on fresh, fresh tires. That being J Sierra, Larry has pitted some laps before. So let's see how this all pans out here as the Porsche says, thank you very much. I will take the position as well. They all headed into corkscrew. I don't think Larry will, will send it here. Being smart and holding up, fighting for that start finish line. Like I said, there is other areas of it of passing zones here in this track that aren't that corkscrew, let me tell you that. We have a chase down here of Gene Gerrard in 11th. Being chased down, we're on board with the Mustang here of A. Coelho. This is a Pfeiffer position. I saw some blue flag signs there. I do believe it's for Dummy 23, who is now ahead of these two drivers. As you can see, he also had a half second penalty there. We were not able to see where it was that he picked that up, but it may prove costly for him in that second position. J. Sierra following here, Uncle Pants. We have two laps to go essentially in this lap, in this race, excuse me. As J. Sierra coming here to what would be the final lap, Fight. It's a drag race all the way to Andretti Corner. He's able to make the pass. There is no contact there. I'd love to see that. A Lucid Wolf here. There are some blue flags being waved. He is fighting for position with Sweet Sugar Balls, but there may be one of the leaders behind him. Um, as you see the marshals waving the blue flags um, he will have a, a lap or two to either make way or as it, it is tough he is here battling with sweet sugar balls for position coming to the end of the race this is i believe they would be starting their last lap the lucid wolf sends it around the outside there is a bit of contact there is dirty track out there that's all marbles but no problem from the Renault. He finds all the traction needed. As I say that, he also sends it into the dirt a bit. But no problem, folks. He makes the pass stick for eighth. Wheels in the dirt again. My goodness, what racing here. Action packed all the way to the end. From the front runners all the way to your back end drivers here in this race. Just amazing racing all throughout. Coming around here, the Lucid Wolf is trying to hold position. They send it into the course crew, and I think he will hold on to that eighth spot. We move up a couple spots. The fight between CO2 in the Mercedes and J. Sierra Mogollon in the Lexus. Coming to the last two corners of this race, let's see what happens here on the last couple of laps. Just amazing stuff here. CO2, I believe, breaks a bit early. No, he's right there, folks. Scratch that. He broke perfectly. Makes the pass. And is able to hold on to fifth. J. Sierra will come away in sixth. But ladies and gentlemen, the man of the hour. Greedy, greedy man. Soldier Y takes fastest lap and his fifth win of the season in as many races. Wow. Will anyone stop him? Dummy 23 comes home in second, hard fought, as Sassafras completes the podium, finishes with a third place. Soldier Watt has a 62 point lead through five rounds. Unfortunately, that is all the great racing we have today. But if you want to see more racing just like this, please follow us and join us on Discord at Zeus Gaming League. Thank you, everybody.